Good morning, guys. So today is Thursday, October 26th. I am gonna vlog the day. It is currently 9.40 and I have to go to CrossFit this morning. All I have to do now is get dressed and I'm gonna go. Yesterday's workout was actually so hard and I'm praying that today is a little bit easier because I literally almost collapsed yesterday. <laughs> Hi you guys, so I went to my CrossFit class, I ran three miles, and now I am home, and I am super hungry, so I'm going to make some food. I am super excited because I just got a package in the mail, and I'm going to open it for you guys and for TikTok. Make sure to follow all of my socials. I have my Instagram linked down below, and my TikTok and my snapchat here on my socials if you go on there you can click on my link tree and you can find everything there so make sure to follow so yeah let's go make some food Bamboo shoots. Where are the hearts of palm? Is it not here? Okay, since hearts of palm is not here for some reason, I am going to try the bamboo shoots. So we'll see how it is. Hey guys, so I just ate some food and now for my little dessert, I am trying the Samson acai bites, the new version. I just opened them and here. It's the packaging, and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It literally looks like a Snicker bar. It's a little bit dark right now, but it's so good, you guys. Let me show you in the light. That's what it looks like. It's literally purple in the middle. I rate these a 10 out of 10. Delicious. Okay, you guys, so it is a little bit later into the night, and I'm going to open this package in front of you guys. I am super excited and it is from TikTok and I have to post a video with it probably tomorrow morning. So no rush, but here we go. Okay, guys, so if you have ever tried to vlog in your car and failed, you're just like me. So you can use this. This is a literal tripod for your phone and it literally hold your phone in place so you can vlog. This is the part where you can like hold your phone in there. That's like literally perfect. And I still have to figure this out. But anyway, this is really exciting and I'll probably show you guys in tomorrow's vlog because I'll probably be filming in the car tomorrow. So this will definitely come in handy. Okay, so I don't know if it's just me, but I literally have had so many crushes in my life and I feel like it's so weird because as girls, I think that we don't think that other guys could have crushes on us. And I'm gonna tell you guys all the crushes I have had since preschool till now. Be prepared, I am not naming names. 
preschool, I had a crush on this boy and his name, well, I'm not saying his name. He was blonde and I went up to the bunk bed and I was like, look at my ring, like my ring finger, like put a ring on me. He said no and he watched Marry My Friend instead. And I was really bummed and it was really sad. So that was like my first experience. My second experience was with this boy in kindergarten and I was obsessed with him. I was obsessed with blondes and this is when I lived in New Jersey and I drew him a picture of us together and he threw it in the trash, like in front of me. And I was heartbroken. And then coincidentally, he moved to Colorado the next week. Like, was it because of me? Like then in first grade, I didn't have any crushes, which was kind of sad. Then in second grade, we moved to California and I remember, like I vividly remember looking around the school to find boys that I would have a crush on. So I was looking for blonde haired boys because that's like what I told myself. I'm only allowed to like blonde haired boys, which is weird. And there was this boy and like he had platinum blonde hair. Like he was so blonde and he was like a bad boy. And I was just like, oh my God, like kind of intimidated by him. I remember thinking that like, he was like a rebel and he went to Knott's Berry Farm instead of school and I literally thought that was like the worst thing someone my age would do. Like, I can't believe, do you know he went to Knott's Berry Farm instead of school? Like, rebel. Third grade, I didn't really have, well no, I think it was still, I don't know his name. I think it was still the blonde haired kid in third grade. Um, and then there was another kid who had a crush on me, but that doesn't count. Then fourth grade, fourth grade was like the massive crush on this boy who had beach hair. It was like nice and curly. He had braces. Everyone liked him in school. He had all like sisters and like, he lived like on the, like, well, he lived like near the beach. Well, we all kind of like lived, my school was near the beach. So I was obsessed with him. And I remember like sitting near the water fountain and being like, I just can't go up to him. Like, like I literally thought I was in a music video. Like girl, sit down. <laughs> yeah, I remember we both got into gate, which was like for like advanced kids. And I remember we got put in it and I was like, yeah, yeah. We both have braces. Oh my God, it's so embarrassing. Then I went to fifth grade and it was still him. I still had a crush on him. And then I was homeschooled for middle school and I remember I went to a charter school and this is where it gets crazy. I was friends with this girl who was also kind of a rebel, which like why was like, I'm like the perfect little angel in school and I'm always friends with these like rebel people, which is so weird. She had a cousin and she was telling me about her cousin and she was like, yeah. You know my cousin. And I was like, who? And it was this boy who had a really weird name. And she was like, he has a crush on you. And I was like, him? Like the clown kid? Like he's weird. Like I didn't think of him as like attractive. And this is in seventh grade, I didn't tell you. Seventh grade. I remember we were in art class and I went up to him like guts. Like that took guts. I went up to him and I said to him, hey, I heard you have a crush on me. And I remember I had my North Face coat on. It was like purple and it was like so big. And he was like, yeah. And then we started like hanging out at school and like doing all of like our projects together. And he would be like, hey, if you have a crush on me, this means yes, this means no. And I remember like one day I like went like this, like on the table, I was like. And then he was like, you like me? And I was like, yeah. We started DMing each other on Instagram and my mom found out and yeah, you know where that went. Then eighth grade hit and I still had a crush on him. Ninth grade, I did kind of have a crush, but it was like kind of embarrassing. So I don't really want to talk about it. Twelfth grade, I had a crush on someone who might be watching this video. So I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to follow me on all my socials, Instagram at Skylerly Official, TikTok at Skylerly Official with two L's, and Snapchat at the Skylerly. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.